peace and black power. This is Brother Sakem coming at you from North Philadelphia. And um, the other day somebody asked me a question. And um, they got mad and quite a few people got mad when I gave them, you know, my answer. But, I mean, you, you asked me the question. So I gave you, you know, the answer that I thought. First of all, they come up to me talking about, you know, the Million Man March. And um, I told them, like, all right, they, 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 yeah, they come up to me talking about, you know, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, yeah, you see all the brothers out there uniting, man. The white man's scared. They know we getting together and all this. And I'm like, hey, man, it's all right. We going out there. I mean, I ain't telling nobody not to march. We going out. Um, Washington, D.C., um, million of us strong, maybe more than a million. Um, black power, black unity. Everybody dropped the labels. We all won nation you know and but what's the use of marching if we're going to come back to our neighborhoods our so-called black neighborhoods because as far as no affiliate is concerned it's nothing but um a white neighborhood populated by black people and we come back here and be content with hispanics and um asians making all the money in it well, every once in a while, you run across an establishment made by one of us. It's an old rundown store that's getting ready to get taken over by Puerto Ricans or a hair braiding shop. And the rest of us outside talking about um, Lucy's and weed out and all kind of bullshit like that. Like, come on, man. What's the use of marching if we're going to come back and be content with living, you know, a life like that? And every time I say something, somebody, oh, come on, man. Don't nobody want to hear all that. Nobody wants to hear all that. I even went to a couple of my New Wapian brothers, and, and, and they were like, because there was a lot of New Wapians out there representing. And they was like, come on, man, but we got to keep going. We got to keep, yeah, we got, we got to keep going. We got to keep going back to the neighborhood after the marches and set up our own thing. We got to set up our own economic base. But every time I get to talking or, or one of the brothers get to talking, and everybody's supposed to come around and do this. You can't find nobody. Like, come on, man. For real. Like, what the hell you said marching? I'm not saying don't march. I'm saying do something after the march. And another, they asked me about uh, what I think about the boy, um, Brother Polite. Because, you know, he came from the uh, New Wapian Nation. And they say, oh, he's out there doing this thing. Well, one of my mentors, I'm not going to name no names, but... They told him the same thing. He's out there doing his thing because they want everybody to go to one spot. Not everybody. I'm not talking about everybody now. Everybody not not thinking like this. But, you know, Brother Polite came from the New Hopia Nation. And um, I still run with the nation. That's where I woke up and I'm giving on it, homage to my uh, master teacher, Dr. Malachi York. Say what you want to say about him. Uh you know, whatever. If you want to say something to me about him, then we can go on from there. But, um, Brother Polite, for all I can tell, I mean, he got, I mean, he's human. I mean, he might like the spotlight, like some people say. He might do it for the money, but shoot, you got to make some money. I mean, most of these people out here is listening to him, but they're not listening to him. A lot of people is listening to him. A lot of people being helped, too. A lot of people got their health together. Um, my sister, from me sending um, my sister, even my mom, that's an apostolic. An apostolic now, she listened to Brother Polite on his health tips when him and his wife was up in the Whole Food place. And it's actually working for him, man. I'm, I'm hitting up with the lemongrass. And, um, and, and, and uh, my sister got me some of those, um, some of those mushrooms. I can't remember what the name of them is, but for all I can tell, I mean, look, man, brother, like, like, for real, if you have, like, let, let's say, let's say you going to New York, and you have, um, the road that you want has a roadblock, well, it's a thousand more ways into New York, but I'm saying that to say this, if you, um, if you looking at brother polite, like, oh, he's doing his own thing. He doing this, he doing that. You more worried about what he's doing than listening to the good parts that he's putting out there to get your life together. It's more than one way to wake up. 
everybody doesn't wake up this way. Some people wake up over in the Nuwapian nation, like I did. Some people wake up in the nation of Islam. Even look, the Hebrew Israelites can get you off of that white Jesus bull crap that's been putting, that's been put out for I don't know how many years. It's just that the only problem with them is is well, he's a fictional character anyway. So changing them black really don't mean nothing. But but they get to, they, a lot of times a Hebrew somebody wake up in the Hebrew Israelites they wake up and get that white Jesus um, mentality out of their head and then he might move on to another level. But anyway, um, like I said, Brother Polite, he's out there doing his thing. Sarah Sutton Seti, he's out there doing his thing. They say he cussed too much. But sometimes that's the only group of people that would listen because sometimes when you come talking, um, when you come talking conservative, they fall asleep on you and, you know, message don't get through. But when you like Sarah, General Sarah Sutton Seti, he come out there cussing his ass off. And people wake up and listen to that. So it's different ways that you can come in, different directions that um that you can come in to being, you know, on a more conscious level than what you are. And um and I'm, you know, people ask me different things, I give my opinion, they get mad, really don't care. I mean Nobody's doing nothing after the march. There's so many people out there putting down Brother Polite and instead of looking at the, the good in what he do, that what he put out there, that what he says to help people with their um, financial life, with their health, uh, spiritual, he putting it out there, man. He waking people up. And just because it's not in the nation, a lot of people defer from him. Like I said, I'm not putting him over my master teacher, Dr. York, because that's where I woke up. But he's doing his part to wake us up. And anybody out there that don't like it, you know, I'm sorry about that. Um, in fact, no, I'm not sorry because it's reality. So whatever, man. This is uh, Brother Sakim signing off from North Philadelphia. Black power.